In this tutorial, we're going to cover OS X Lion, from basic features to slightly more advanced ones. We will cover Mac usage for the beginner and go over new features for current Mac users. OS X Lion is the world's most advanced operating system. Not only is it elegant in design and enjoyable to use, but it can make your workflow improve with its highly intuitive interface and features. Let's get started. The Mac is divided into four basic sections, the menu bar, the status menus, the dock, and of course the desktop. The first item in the menu bar is the Apple menu. Here you can find out what's in your Mac, update your software, and even browse the App Store. You can also adjust your system preferences, which we'll discuss in its own chapter later on. You can shut down, start up, and log in and out from this menu as well. We'll discuss the Finder in its own chapter as well. The File, Edit, and View menus are usually specific to the application that you're using and will be covered throughout this tutorial, but not in this chapter. The Go menu can help you get somewhere really fast, including recent documents you may have closed. The Window menu helps you navigate and adjust windows, and the Help section is just that. Don't be afraid to use the Help section, that's what it's for, and it can be a real lifesaver. Just type something in or click on the Help Center to get started. Over here in the status menus, we can quickly adjust some important settings. We can look for and set up Bluetooth devices such as an Apple Magic Mouse. We can discover and configure available internet networks and even adjust the overall volume output of the Mac. By clicking here, we can adjust the date and time. By clicking over here, we can go to the login window and set up user accounts. Your Mac will say something different here unless we have the exact same name. And they save the best for last here with Spotlight which is another great way to search on a Mac. The other main sections of the Mac are the desktop, which I'm sure you've all seen before, and the ultimate powerhouse feature known as the dock. The dock has many features and will be discussed in greater detail later, but for now it's important to note that the dock is your central hub for almost anything you want to do, like launching applications from the launch pad and organizing your workspaces in Mission Control. You can also launch applications directly from the dock like Safari and iTunes, by simply clicking on them. You can also move icons around the dock to suit your needs. On the far right of the dock, there's a special section for non-applications. Here you can browse through your document stack and even check out your downloads folder. You can also rummage through the trash if you want. Don't worry if you don't know what that means. We'll go over everything we just discussed over the various chapters in this tutorial. So now you have a basic idea of what Lion is made up of. Now you're ready to get into the details of each feature as we're going to over the following chapters.